The Morning News, Wilmington, Delaware, July 8, 1982. The woman and her children crossed the Mason-Dixon line, a geographical boundary between Maryland and Pennsylvania that also served as the line between freedom and slavery before the Civil War. Once safe in Pennsylvania, the family went to Philadelphia, where they hid in a house and were cared for by two black women, Annette Lane and Margaret Sterling. News of the successful flight of freedom eventually reached plantations in the South and encouraged other slaves, mainly more women and children, but sometimes whole families, to also run for freedom and seek shelter at the same home in Philadelphia where the two women had founded the Grand United Order of Tents, J.R. Giddings and Jolliffe Union. Good evening, sisters. Good evening. We are here this afternoon for our memorial service for our sisters who have gone on before us, whose shoulders we now stand on. They saw the bend in the road. The Evening Journal, Wilmington, Delaware, 1927. An entertainment entitled Amanda's Wedding will be given at 8.30 o'clock tomorrow evening at Bethel AME Church, 6 in Walnut Streets, by members of the Grand United Order of Tents. Proceeds from the entertainment will be used for the purchase of a tent home at 1125 Walnut Street. The entertainment is arranged by the M.A. Bayard Tent, of which Mrs. M.A. Bayard is a worthy queen, Mrs. Angeline Henry Leader, and Mrs. E. Gertrude Rose Secretary. 